Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new GIMP tutorial. Today in this GIMP tutorial we'll be um, learning to make these two high glossy um, text effects here. So um, just a quick update, I've decided to make my tutorials a lot more professional from now on. So they're either going to be quick, short and snappy or long and um, a final product that actually is worth doing. Like all my other tutorials, they're, they're good, they're professional, but I want these to be um, really professional for you guys just to sit down and watch. Um, but not too professional that I sound like a robot. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so the way I did these, we did um, made with a few gradients, a uh, drop shadow, inner shadow here. You will need the script through script. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Um, so yeah, to get these really nice effects, we don't need to do much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these. I'm just using a simple 1280 by 720 GIMP document with the background color of gray. We're going to make a new layer and we're going to make the glossy one first. Glossy one was this one. So um, I'm going to leave a little annotation to skip to the start of Glossy 2 um, if you don't want to watch Glossy 1. Okay, hope you got that. Okay, we're going to start off by making a new layer and we're going to get the text tool. The font I'm going to be using is Code Bold and the size of 100. I'm going to type in Glossy and just up the size a bit, 200. Yeah, 200 is a nice size. We're going to get the alignment tool up here and we're just going to align these to the center. The next step in the tutorial is we're just going to change the color to a simple gray. Not that it will make any difference, but we just want to see it there so we can see all our adjustments. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a drop shadow. So we're going to go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And the offset X and Y are both zero. The blur radius is 10, the color is black, and the opacity is set to 60. So we're going to apply that. And that brings a really nice drop shadow for us. So it pushes out the text a bit. The next step is we're going to make a new layer. And we're just going to delete this useless layer here. Um, we need to make a gradient. I've already made the gradient here. It's called gloss. So I'm going to scrap that. Make a new one. I'm going to call it gloss 2. Okay, so if you don't know where I am right now, I'm in the palette editor. So to get to the palettes, we have to go to Windows, Dockable Dialogues, Palettes. And I've got my palettes just here. So to make a new palette, what I just did is click the Create New Palette. And to edit a palette, you just double click on it. So this palette has nothing in it. And the way we get um, little um, squares of color on there, swatches of color, is we choose our color. I'm going to choose this, A6, A6, A6 and just click new here then I switch over to, and it always has to be the foreground color that's white there we go and back again to our A6 and white so there's our gloss we'll call it gloss tutorial and just click save so now we've got our glossy gradient we want to right click on it we want to go to palette to gradient. Now this created a gradient called gloss tutorial. Great. This is how you make your own custom gradients. I think I've got a video about that. So we're going to alpha to selection this and we're just going to stroke down holding control or command if depend to get a straight line depending if you're on Mac or Windows. And there we go, a really nice glossy layer here. The next part of this 
gloss one is we're going to go to script foo and we're just going to add a inner glow and I'm just going to set the size to 3 and the opacity to 75 and the color on white that's a good color from our gloss and there we go you don't have to put that that's an optional um, that's an optional um, thingy magic so that's how we create gloss one that's gloss one created the next gloss we're going to make is obviously gloss two and we're going to get started on that so let me just um, load these all into a um, actually I'll just hide them so we want to get started on gloss two so again we're going to get our code bold font and we're just going to type in glossy we're going to amp the size up to 200 as usual and the color to mid-tone gray we're going to align it in the center again like so so in this um, glossy 2 we do a bit different we have the same drop shadow so we'll do that first we're going to it's the same one so you just need to apply the same filter we also have the same inner glow but it's the um, gradients that are different so we're going to make a new layer and this one's a bit trickier so just um, keep track of what I'm doing we're going to right click on this layer alpha to selection we're then going to grab our elliptical um, sorry our rectangular select tool and set the mode on to um, this intersect yeah intersect and we're just gonna get half of the image like so we're then going to get the gradient tool and choose our gradient that we have here already that's the a6 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 gray and the white and we're going to stroke down make sure if you have um, make sure it's reverse so down here where the the white is facing down and that's one and then we're just going to make sure you stroke down on our new layer we don't want it stroking down on our glossy layer our text layer so I'm just gonna stroke down like so command shift a or control shift a to deselect or you can just go to select none the next step is we're going to apply that same thing except on the top half of our text so we're going to right click alpha 2 selection then we're going to grab our rectangular select tool and we're just going to select something like this just select a bit more like so and just stroke down again And here we have the very high gloss we've got here, and we're just going to apply a inner glow to it, just so it looks a bit nicer. And move that to the top so you can see. So there we have our um, two effects there, both very simple um, and very easy to achieve. So thank you again very much for watching and I shall catch you in my next GIMP tutorial or video or speed art. Thank you very much.